welcome back friends now I am going to show you an endoscopy and what all we do with an endoscopy so you can see I am putting my endoscopy inside the patient's stomach this is a pyloric orifice so you can see there are severe erosions there are severe erosions and I am doing a J maneuver and I am seeing the incisor angularis and I am going to see the proximal stomach the fundus is being seen by this J maneuver what I am showing here is a J maneuver I am seeing there are diffuse gastritis everywhere there is gastritis so what I am going to do now is I am going to take biopsy I am going to take biopsy from the stomach and I am going to confirm whether there is H pylori present or not. So this is a J maneuver you are seeing here you can see the proximal uh, OG junction this is the incisura and you can see severe gastritis severe gastritis this is a typical antral gastritis so what I am going to do now is I am passing a biopsy forceps into the endoscopy and I am going to do an invasive investigation to test for H pylori you, you, you can see in this picture I am passing the biopsy forceps and I am going to take random tissues from the stomach so I am going to take some few tissues like this I will take a tissue punch from the stomach so that punch will be sent will be done a rapid urease test so you are going to I see I, 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 the tissue is taken out now so now the assistant is going to take that tissue she is taking the tissue and she is doing a test in a rapid urease kit you can see that is a rapid urease kit that is the tissue is kept inside and we pour a few distilled water drops that will change into color that change into pink color means it is positive the normal test kit is yellow color when you put a drop you can see that will change the color of pink so this is a test known as rapid urease test this is the investigation of choice we do if the patient is undergoing an endoscopy what is the investigation to diagnose H pylori when we are not doing an endoscopy so when we are not doing endoscopy the investigation of choice is ELISA for H pylori antibody so in this picture you can see that we have put the drop and slowly the color is changing into pink color so that means this is a rapid urease test positive case H pylori detection test after few minutes you can see the total slide becoming pink color and the video is being covered and this is the interesting investigation and before doing this investigation we advise the patient not to take PPI for 7 days so this is a very important prerequisite they should avoid PPI for 7 days and when this is positive we should give them H pylori kit for 14 days so you can see this becomes positive the color has started changing and after few minutes you can see the entire slide has changed pink color thank you.